so when Gerald referred to me as your girlfriend, your mum thought he meant just that. She would never dream it was anything else. Why haven't you told her? You saw how she treated Gerald. She'd freak. It must be hard for you, coming home to that. No. You're the first serious girlfriend I've had, and it happened miles away in a different city, so don't ask, don't tell. It's not about geography, is it? It's about your mother knowing who you are. Please don't start waving the rainbow flag around here, Maya. She's not going to want to know, trust me. That's what I thought about my mum. I was completely terrified. Turns out it was the best thing I could ever do. She lives in the big smoke. It's more tolerated there. This is Tauranga. It's a completely different story. We grew up on an orchard in the Waikato. Doesn't get more country than my mum. How long did it take her to accept you? A little while. But I'm her daughter. She loves me. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. I'm sure your mum will feel the same way, given the chance. I'm sorry I drove you away. You didn't drive me away. But I could have been more supportive with the whole Morgan thing. I let my own stuff get in the way. Well, it threw everything into chaos. I didn't know whether I was coming or going. Bye or straight. <laughs> <laughs> and now? Things have been so much about looking after Nan and Eric, I've hardly had time to think. Not that I haven't thought about us, I have. What did you come up with? I know Jay threw you when she started seeing a man. So do you think you can trust someone who knows for sure that they're bi? Jay cheated on me, that's what hurt. Didn't matter if it was with a man or another woman. Sure. All I want is an honest commitment. That gives me something to think about. Good. And I'd also like you to think about what I said before, about coming out to your mum. I just don't see why I have to put her through it. But it's not just about her, it's about you. It's about not living a lie that she might already suspect. Mm. No way, she wouldn't. I don't mean to nag. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I've missed you. I missed you too. Girls, coffees. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I must have slept in. Oh, I so slept in. Sorry. Did did Eric make his work on time? Did his car start all right? Yes. So stop panicking. And I know why you slept in. You girls were up gossiping half the night. Mum, we're not 16. <laughs> Cooing over eligible doctors at the hospital, I bet. <laughs> See? <laughs> Look at Maya. There's no denying it. Scrambled eggs for breakfast? Oh, don't go to any trouble. It's not. Scrambled eggs would be lovely. <laughs> and while I'm doing that, could you shower, Nan? Sure. Have your coffee first. So, do you still think she suspects? Maybe she does, and that was all a cover. No. That's her, I swear. She hasn't a clue. You weren't in the Nicky no when she walked in, were you? <laughs> no, but we had just been kissing. No, I don't think she can, no. Why? Well, because given her attitude to gays, she'd be coming at you with a Bible and a pitchfork. You saw what she was like with me when she thought that mm, we should go for a walk around the town. Where should we go, Leanne? Mm. Oh, well, Mount Monganui. It's a lovely walk and a great view. Done. You'll be wanting a hearty lunch first. Oh, she only gave us a hearty brunch a couple of hours ago. I couldn't eat another thing. <laughs> Is Nicole with her name? I think so. Oh, good. She does know she's been very diplomatic. Oh, she's very deep in denial. Trust me, she doesn't have a clue. Then tell her. I know it's hard, but if she Maya, finds Maya, it... don't push it. Now, are we going out or not? How was the walk? Great. I haven't done that since I was a kid. Oh, gorgeous. Is this you? Guilty. How sweet. In the photo, maybe. She was a real handful at that age, <laughs> let me tell you. Toddlers can be, don't I know it. Do you have children? Yes, a little boy, JJ. Oh didn't realise you were married. <laughs> Is your husband looking after him? JJ's father isn't in the picture. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. You're divorced then? No, I'm... Mum, stop being such a sticky bee. Am I? 
I don't mean to be. Well, but... you are. So let's get that mouth busy chewing something. Might help me in the kitchen? But no, you're my guest. You sit down. Why'd you do that? She loves running around after people. You know what I mean? It's about to tell her I'm lesbian. I know, but now's not the right time. So when is the right time, exactly? Can you try being a little bit more supportive? This is supportive. Telling the truth. Stop pressuring me. She's not your mother, and you don't know the first thing about it. Oh, yes, please. Where's Eric? We told him it was drinkies time. I packed him off to bed. Oh, you're a meanie. <laughs> he was zonked. He had an early start. It's so good to him. And your nan. Honestly, you are like district health nurse of the year. Mm. Big help to your mum. She deserves a break. She's been through enough. Being honest doesn't have to be an ordeal. She could come in at any moment. I'll go see if she needs a hand with Gran. Excuse me. You're pushing things a bit, don't you think? I just know she'll be so much happier when she's open and honest. Hmm. It could be your insecurity that's pushing things too hard. Why would you say that? Well, if she comes out, then it's like she's committing to you. And if she doesn't, you're worried that she's not serious. Maybe. And she didn't ask us here. We just turned up on her doorstep. You can't corner her into making a declaration that she's not ready for. Yeah, you're right. Of course I am. But in the meantime, I have to pretend to her family that I'm something that I'm not. Where's my truth in all of this? It's waiting supportively in the wings. You don't know what it's like. Excuse me? You're gay, Gerald. No, wait, you're straight. Sleep with a woman. Oh, no, probably bye. Hmm, blah, blah, blah. I'm more supportive than that. Do you remember what it was like? Everyone telling you what to do? It doesn't help, does it? And I'm just worried that if you keep pushing, you might lose her for good. Moal. Is that how you say it? Hmm? The proper name for Mount Monganui. Moal? Wouldn't know. Too tricky for me. We just say going down the mount, don't we, Nikki? What corner of Tauranga will you explore tomorrow? What do you think? Um, maybe the beach at Papamoa. There's a nice restaurant there. Hmm. We could find out where Stan Walker was born. Do a drive-by. Maybe we should hit the road. We don't want to overstay our welcome. No, you've only just arrived. Stay another night at least. Are you expecting anyone? No. Hi, come on in. Eric said bring the six pack, so here I am. Eric's in bed, love. He must have forgotten all about you. Oh, I should eat off then. Oh, don't be silly. We're all still up. Nicole and her friends have still got a few hours left in them, haven't you? Hey, babe. Hi, how are you? Mike, meet our guests. This is Maya and Gerald. Friends of Nikki's from the hospital in the big city. Good to meet you. Uh, you too. And this is Mike, Nikki's boyfriend. Sorry, Nikki's what? Partner. Significant other. Whatever you call it these days. 